Hatchlings, it's Dragonfeather, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's episode of the YouTube Pagan Challenge, the question is, what do the moon phases mean to you? And well, um, as you guys know, we just recently had our full moon, and the full moon is my favorite, but I thought that in in this video I'd go over the, de the different phases of the moon and like what they mean to me. So yeah, uh, starting with the dark moon. And the dark moon is when there is no moon in the sky. It is completely dark, hence the name dark moon. <laughs> um, and this is a time to really do deep shadow work, especially work with Hecate, the, uh, I believe she's a Greek goddess um, uh, of magic. And she's portrayed in mostly the maiden mother crone aspect of what I've seen and what I've read. Um, but yes, it's a great time to work with her as well as really connect with the darker energies and the darker flows of life. So, for example, like, it would be a good time to do maybe graveyard magic or um, magic pertaining to death or banishing spells, binding spells, things of the darker sort on this time. And I like to do some um, darker forms of magic on this particular moon. So it's a good moon, <laughs> even though it's not even there. <laughs> um, the second phase is the new moon which is a waxing crescent, um, and this is a great time to uh, do spells for new beginnings, and do spells for bringing about new things, um, bringing new things into your life, starting new relationships, starting new relationships, starting new jobs, things like that. It's a great time for really starting new cycles of life, or just new cycles, cycles in general. Um, it's a great time for anything new because it's probably the new moon. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's just, um, I usually do new types of rituals on the new moon. So I like to try new draconic ri rituals as much as I can. And I try to do them on the new moon. It just seems like the right time to do it. Um, and then we have the full moon, which is my favorite time. And this is a great time to get in touch with divination and spell casting and drawing down the moon, bringing in feminine, powerful feminine energies into your ritual, into your practice, into your circles. Uh, it's a great time to get in touch with your shadow self as well, um, though maybe the more lighter parts of your shadow self, um, if that makes sense. I really like doing spells, um, protection spells mostly, and uh, fairy magic during this time. I find that fairy magic tends to be strongest on the full moon. Um, I don't know, do you guys agree with that? Have you guys tried fairy magic at different times? Let me know, I'm curious. Um, but I tend to do, like, a little offering to the Fae during the full moon just because it seems like a very fairy time to me. <laughs> um, and then we have the, the waning moon. And the waning moon is a very powerful moon for banishing. Um, I would say that the dark moon would probably be the strongest for banishing, but when the moon is in the middle of, from, in the middle of, excuse me, let me try that again. When the moon is in its transitional phase from light to dark, um, you get a lot of chaotic energies and you can um, harness those chaotic energies to bring about certain changes in your life, certain movements, certain flows throughout your craft. Um, I find this a great time to uh, get rid of any sort of old energy on your altar. So say that you've had a spell bag there for maybe months, maybe it would be a good time to move it. Um, it's a great time to dust away, you can use altar besoms to dust away the negative energy. I feel like it's a great time for cleansing, <clears throat> cleansing, excuse me, I feel like I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a great time for that as well. Um, I believe that's all of the moon phases, but if I missed one, let me know. I don't think I missed one. Um, but yeah, that's what the moon phases mean to me. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But until next time, stay geeky, cheeky, and freaky little hatchlings. Blessed be and bye.